Hi, my name is Chuck Tuck and I'm with Aver. In this video, we'll take a look at the M5 document camera. And then we're going to connect this to the AverTouch software. And within the software, we're going to go through the setup menu and I'll show you how to connect everything. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, the M5 document camera is USB powered. So just go ahead and connect the M5 document camera to your laptop or desktop. And then we'll go ahead and launch the AverTouch software. As soon as the AverTouch software is launched, it should recognize the document camera because it is connected through the USB cable. If it is not recognized here, just go up to where it says Sync and click on Sync and then it shall be recognized. Once we do that, let's go ahead and go up to the library. Make sure it says My Drive, go to Account, and you see right here it says Drives. Just check My Drive as your default drive. If you need any assistance, you can always click on the help guide or the document camera tour. So let's go ahead and go back and launch the software. We'll come back to camera and we'll click right here. The document camera is launched and this is the live image. So a couple of things that we want to do in setup. Let's make sure we go to the upper right hand corner where the cogwheel is. Check that and under camera, you're going to see that it says AverVision M5 document camera, so we know that it's connected to the correct camera. You can come down here and you can see what the resolution is. The mirror on and off, and that's just to mirror the image. The motion, you don't have to worry anything about the uh, camera mode. There's only one mode, and that is the motion. And as far as the frequency goes, you can leave it on the 60, uh, 60 hertz. Okay. For display, this is just going to show the icons, which you see at the bottom here. And you have the option of how many that you want to be shown. Now, here's the important part under record. We only have the one option. It's an MP4, MPEG4 recording. But where it says record file path, you want to make sure that you select where you want to have this recorded and saved to. So my best suggestion is that you put it into a folder and you can name that folder AverTouch Video if you would like. And you can also have it record the audio or you do not have to have audio recorded. And then for images you have a choice of JPEG or PNG. I typically just leave it on the JPEG. And same thing, image file path and you can select where you would like to have the images saved. From there, let's go ahead and take a look here. We could go to the advanced tab. And under advanced tab, you don't have to worry anything there. This is the bit rate if you have a Wi-Fi document camera connected to the Aver software. And that's it for the tour on how to set up your Aver Touch software with your M5 document camera. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Now look for other videos on the M5 document camera and the AverTouch software. Thank you again for joining me.